being a mom and having a family is what I've always wanted to do. I thought, oh, easy, I'm going to get pregnant like this. I might be approaching the last good years of fertility. It's a very human trait to want to have a child and see your genes in that child. It was just emotionally too much for me to accept that I couldn't get pregnant on my own. I felt like something was taken from me. We had tons of tests done. You know, why me? I mean, life's not fair. I wanted to have kids and I knew that being in a relationship with a woman wasn't going to stop me. The doctor said, your hormone level is so low, you're not going to get pregnant naturally anymore. It's a marathon for a lot of couples. There's attrition at every point of the process. The odds were really in our favor because they couldn't find anything wrong with either of us at this point. We did one IVF, it didn't work. Right away I said, let's do one another one. And again it didn't work. Every time when my test was negative, it's devastating. It's devastating. Women make a lot of decisions about their professional and personal goals in life based on a baby. But no one really told them that their eggs were different from sperm. Are they going to run out of them? The future is limitless. The technologies are very promising and have come a long way in the last 30 years. There's about 14,000 egg donors. About a third of our surrogates become pregnant with twins. It's just as likely for the man to be infertile as it is for the woman. The price of the tests are likely to come down. There's a bright future ahead. I would say we're probably responsible for 30, 35,000 children out there. Egg freezing has a potential to lead a social revolution. I've done the maximum that I can do to try to improve my chances of having a baby in the future. We are clearly helping people conceive that Mother Nature would not have allowed to conceive. And that's the best use of these technologies.